first podcast. Yes, my first podcast. And I am very excited to be doing this. You know, I've always, always wanted to do podcasting, but just never really got around to it. And it kind of makes me laugh. Like, I always wanted to get into radio, that kind of stuff, because I love doing narration. I love doing I love doing stuff with my voice. I sometimes feel like I have a unique voice to where I could do, you know, I'm known in real life as people, I always impersonate people. I'm really good at impersonations and stuff. And so I always wanted to get into something that had to do with using my voice. And so I always wanted to get into radio. That never really worked out. So podcasting was something I always wanted to do. Um, I instead went the other route and I started doing YouTube videos. So um, while I was still able to use my voice, I didn't really, you know, there's something about um, doing a podcast and stuff like that. It's maybe almost a little bit more intimate, I guess you could say, and close to the viewers. Yes, um, when you're watching a video, you're usually like, you know, at the, you know, watching it maybe at your work desk or, you know, in your computer room at your house, even sitting on the couch on your laptop, um, and you're watching the video. But when you usually listen to podcasts, you're usually, you know, washing dishes, doing chores with the earbuds in, you're on a bus riding to school, you're on you know, a lunch break at work. And so it's almost like you're listening to the person at different times in their life that you wouldn't be, you know, engaging with them, you know, if it had been a video. So podcasting always really kind of, um, you know, I always really loved that aspect about using just your voice. And for instance, I love listening to Fat Man on Batman with Kevin Smith, you know, where he talks about Batman. And I usually listen to that whenever I'm, uh, doing chores or sometimes when I'm outside, like, you know, just chilling out by the pool, you know, I just have my earphones in. Sometimes if I'm driving at a long distance, I'll listen to it. And, um, you know, at times where I can't really watch videos. So I've just always really, really loved the idea of podcasting. So, um, you know, I was kind of thinking about what to do my first time, uh, you know, podcasting. And I just started thinking, you know what? I'm not really going to like jump on a bunch of different topics. I'd rather it be more chilled out and relaxed. So um, it was recently my, my birthday this past weekend. I turned 27 years old. And gosh, I mean, I know some of you are listening are probably thinking, oh, you're still young. It's just really like at sometimes it just really sucks when you think about getting older. You know, when you're younger, you look forward to getting your driver's license you know, at 16 and then maybe at 18, if you're into smoking cigarettes, you go buy cigarettes and buy, um, you know, lottery tickets. And then so you look forward to those days and then you look forward to being 21 to buy alcohol um, here here in the United States. And so you look forward to buying alcohol. Well, I'm done. I'm done with all that stuff. You know, I'm, I'm 27 now. What do I have to look forward to now? Uh, I guess Social Security at 65. But, you know, who knows if that's even going to be still there at my when I turned 65 but either way um it was my birthday this past weekend so um you know I'm not really big into birthday celebrations but I think of my birthday a little bit differently than other people think about theirs you know it is about you know getting together with your family and maybe you know having a dinner and stuff but when I was born I actually had some severe health issues you know I was very premature I was basically given a death sentence when I was born. I was in the hospital for a while. You know, I couldn't breathe on my own. It was it was a horrific situation from what I hear. And uh, so usually when we get together on my birthday, it, it's really being reminded and thankful that I pulled through because, um, you know, it was a very tough time. My mom remembers it like it was yesterday, and my dad remembers it like it was yesterday. And so it's really about being thankful, you know, well, not necessarily for me, like, like, of course, you know, some people are like, I'm so thankful for you that you're here and the impact you've made, but it's really just being thankful in general. And, um, so usually when we get together with my birthday, it's, it's usually pretty positive spirits in regards to, you know, I've come a long way, you know, I was given a death sentence when I was born and now I, you know, 27 years old, married, great job, uh, great, you know, YouTube videos, and, you know, I'm not great, I'm not saying I make great videos, but in terms of, you know, things that I do, I write, so I didn't, like, come out, you know, of that sickness period 
you know, affected in that, like in a big way to where it was like life changing. So we always get together and, you know, reminisce about, you know, man, Ryan, I remember when I would hold you in my arms and I thought you were going to break that kind of stuff. And we're just really, really happy and full of joy that, you know, it wasn't a tragedy. It ended up being a very positive experience and memory. And um, thank God every day for that. So um, this year for my birthday, I really wanted to, you know, I had a wish list. My wife asked me to put together a wish list because people ask her what I wanted. She wanted to be able to give them, you know, exactly, you know, what I wanted. And so, um, oh, sorry for this little brain fart. I think I see the FedEx guy coming up, but he's not coming to my house. I'm expecting a package and uh, it is definitely not to me. So that'll be in a future unboxing video. But anyways, um, so I had a wish list together. I had a bunch of stuff in there, everything from the Hitchcock complete collection set to a bunch of Kino, Criterion, stuff like that. And I didn't think I was going to get a lot of it because, you know, some of it was pretty pricey. So that's my wish list. And then on um, my birthday was on Saturday. So we ended up having a birthday dinner on Saturday evening at my mother-in-law's house. And so, um, you know, I ended up opening up my gifts and I pretty much got everything on my wish list. It was amazing. And people pitched in and got got me certain things, and it was just straight up awesome. I got, um, you know, the Hitchcock Complete Collection set. I got the Universal Monster, um, Classic Monster set. I got the Ghostbusters 1 and 2 Digibook Blu-ray. I got, um, I finally got the up an upgraded uh, copy of Casino on Blu-ray. And a uh, bunch, a bunch of other stuff, too. I got the, the Metal Pack Edition of Godzilla. And, uh... Yes, it was just like overall an amazing birthday. My dad sent me a check, and so I was able to get the check cash, and I made a trip out to a place called Chamblin's Book Mine, which is basically a used bookstore. Uh, it looks like it's a hole-in-the-wall type um, place. You know, you kind of you look at the front, and you're like, man, this is kind of like a, a strip mall from the 70s that was never redid on the outside. I mean, it just looks junky. And it does not look like it's a bookstore. Well, it looks pretty small on the outside. And then you go in and it's almost like a, it's a used bookstore. It's just a cavern. It's like a cavern and caves and a spire. Like, it's almost like a freaking, you know, anthill. You turn a corner here, turn a corner here, and there's just walls of books all over the place. Dusty, but amazing because they have movies there. And it's probably about the size of, if you take half of Target, Cut it in half. That's how wa that's how big of an area this place covers, but it doesn't look like it. So it's called Chamblin's Book Mine, and that's because it literally is like a mine. It goes, it's almost like it goes underground, but it doesn't. It just does not stop. Um, I went down. I've recorded myself going down the hallway, uh, one hallway, going to the movie area, and through the hallway. And I'm just holding my camera out on my phone, and I, um, I, you know, I'm holding it out in front of me. And the video itself lasted about five minutes, and that was to get from one part of the store, or to the, from the bookstore to the other. And it wasn't even halfway. It wasn't even to the halfway point. And you just see walls of books that I'm passing, almost like Stanley Kubrick-style tracking shots. Camera in front of me, me walking, like the shining books just going and passing and passing and passing and passing. And then you, I would turn, and you would see a hallway, and you'd see somebody it looked like a gazillion walls behind me, and you'd you know, what the heck is Ryan doing in this place? It's claustrophobic. It's crazy. Blah, 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 blah. So basically, it's an incredibly huge place. And I ended up picking up some awesome um, movies. I picked up uh, Robert Altman's Nashville on DVD. I know it just came out on Criterion. But for a few, couple bucks on DVD, you can't pass it up. Picked up Stardust Memories by Woody Allen. Um, big fan. Also, I picked up the Criterion Collection of Man Bites Dog, one of the most disturbing documentary mockumentaries of all time. And I picked up the DVD of Zero Dark Thirty, a film that I'm eventually going to get the Blu-ray of. But, um, you know, I couldn't pass up the, you know, the, the DVD price. I also picked up one of my favorite Michael Keaton performances, and that is, um, let me see, Clean and Sober. Great film. So I ended up picking up a lot of stuff. And it's really funny because um, when I was there, like, they always have stuff priced, but you don't really... You don't really know that if they know that 
Criterions are worth quite a bit of money, but yet they're selling them for four dollars. And I ended up seeing I'm a big Shakespeare fan, and I saw the Laurence Olivier Shakespeare set. Now I already have Hamlet, and I already have Henry V, but I don't have Richard III yet. And they had the set there, and it wasn't marked. And I went up to the front, and I was like, "Hey, um, this doesn't have a price tag. How much is it?" Now my mind, I was thinking, "Please just say twenty. Please just say twenty or thirty. And then they said sixty-five, and I was like, "Dang it!" And then of course I acted like I was happy with that price, but. I didn't end up getting it, but, um, yeah, so I definitely spent some time there, and tomorrow, I'm actually bringing in a bunch of stuff to Movie Stop to trade, so hopefully I'll be able to get some good stuff at Movie Stop, and I definitely plan on getting the Once Upon a Time in America Blu-ray, um, the, ex the new extended cut, it's like 269 minutes, I definitely plan on picking that up, so, um, overall, it's been a very very good birthday and tonight i'm actually going to a, bel ha a happy belated birthday dinner um with my mom i don't know where we're going yet but it's going to be a good time my mom um is a lot like me you know i'm a lot like her she's where i got my love of film for so usually most of our conversation is just movie chat basically so um it's funny because like you know i don't really have a lot of friends that are into everything that i'm into when it comes to movie wise but if there's one thing that's awesome is that I could say, me and my mom have the same all-time favorite film, and it's The Godfather 1 and 2 tied. And um, it's not every day when you when your mom wants to borrow Once Upon a Time in America from you. So I love, um, you know, I just love my mom so much, and I'm thankful for her and my dad and how they've impacted my life. So, um, yes, that will be it for today's podcast for my first one. figure I'd give you a little rundown of how my birthday went and what it means to me and what I got. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. And um, you're basically going to have two ways to view this or watch this, and you already know that by now. But for my future videos, you're going to be able to download it on Dropbox or just stream it over YouTube. So um, I'm definitely going to be doing these more in the, in the future. I'm going to try to make it weekly. And... Um, yeah, so in the official name of this will be the Ryan Shadowway Podcast. I was trying to think of names for it, but I really wanted to keep a line with my YouTube channel, which is just my name. So Ryan Shadowway YouTube channel, Ryan Shadowway Podcast. Just keep it simple and just keep it, you know, open. I didn't want to make it just about movies. I wanted to be able to talk about everything, music, life. So it's really everything that has to do with about me. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment down below share it with your friends and if you just got done doing dishes while you're listening to this i'm very thankful that you listened to me while you cleaned your kitchen and while you're smelling that nice lemony antibacterial disinfectant spray that you put on your countertops remember there's three ways of doing things the right way the wrong way and the chat away see ya